Hey guys, it's me Gloria, and today I'm going to be doing a makeup routine. So, hope you guys like it. What I'm going to start at first now is I'm going to be doing a routine in foundation first. Now, I have three different foundations. This e.l.f. one is the best one ever. It's called, it's from Maybelline New York, and it's called Fit Me. And it's shine free and it's obviously foundation. It's my favorite foundation ever. And as you can see. Okay, now it's not white, but it's like light. And I'm going to be putting it on for you guys. Um, and that's number 115. And then I have the Avon one. Now the Avon one is a little different because the Avon one, it comes with something all ready to put on your face but it's powder the powder really irritates my face and I don't know why but it does so what I usually use is I usually use these two now I only use these two because um, not only does this one's my exact color skin but the but it can leave like these little spots on my face sometimes so I'm going to be putting this one on my face so you go like this Now, you're not, if you're not a professional, then you don't have to put a lot. I usually put five on my face, and then I just go in. Okay. It's always good, though. It is always good to moisturize your face before you do this, because this can damage your face, honestly. It can really damage your face. Okay. Now what I can do is I can take I can take my well after you moisturize your face you do that. Now I got these for Christmas this year, but this is a little different because these I never used in my lifetime, and when I actually got to use it, it was really good. Um, this is called Fire Below Merch, and it's this powder for your eyeshadow, but it's, it, it can damage a lot of things, and I'm not even joking. I opened it for the first time on Christmas Day, and it didn't come out to be great because it got everywhere, and, um, this foundation doesn't work as well, but it, but one thing that it does do is it helps your face. It moisturizes your face for you. And on top of that, it takes all the uh, stuff like, um, sorry, I got it all over. Um, it takes a lot of your mascara product that's under your bat, under your eyes. If you put mascara on the bottom of your eyes, it takes all the mascara out. And it doesn't really, um, doesn't really hurt to use it. But next I'm going, okay, so next I'm going to do, um, so they come in all different colors. It's like eyeshadow. This one's pink, and this one is supposed to be really, really dark. Okay, sorry. Um, next, there's more eyeshadow. Um, I have a lot of eyeshadow. I don't even know why. But blush, blush is really good to use. Um, blush is my main thing I like to use because not only does it like it doesn't only um, I have like big cheekbones and this usually helps. So there's three different kind here. I mix them together and I push in my cheekbones even more. This usually works on. When you're doing makeup tutorials, this is from Maybelline. Um, it's it's from her. It's from like a workshop down there. Um, it actually works. It works on different occasions. Sometimes it doesn't work. Um, so when I first used it, it messed my face up. 
Um, but it didn't really make a big deal. Okay, so next before I get to the mascara, I do my makeup a little differently. I put lipstick on first. After you brush your teeth and stuff, you don't want to temporarily try to taste the lipstick because then that will leave a bad taste in your mouth. I've done it before. Okay, so here's my lips. Here's my moisture for my lips. It's from C O Bigelow. Um, it is Rose Salve. It's from the Apothecaries. Um, honest. I'm being honest. It's genuine and it's trustworthy. Um, it's very honest about itself. Um, you could use it for a lot of things. You could use it for your face, your lips, your cuticles, your elbows, your knees. Um, Eddie actually says it around the lid. You see, it says cuticles, um, elbows, knees. Sorry, I'm holding it upside down. And you see, it says all that stuff. Okay, so, um, it, the front cover looks like this. I'm sorry you guys are reading it backwards, but I, I don't have a recording camera right now. I'm waiting. So, yeah. Okay, so when you open it, mine kind of melted because I used it so much, but I use it every day. But, see, it, I used a lot of it. See how it's just right there? Okay, so what you do when you use it is you take it and you moisturize your lips with it. So, you go like this. Um, I'm going to show you something later. Actually, right, right after this. Okay, so this is temporarily like chapstick. It smells really good. Um... After even using that, what what I usually do is I actually take my lipstick. My it can be lip gloss. I'm gonna use this one for now because I don't have my other ones with me. Um, okay, this is my trick that actually keeps it. After you're done putting that to moisturize your lips, you go like this and you take it at the tip, and you take it at the end of your of your um lip. Now you don't want to put it in the middle because it can damage your lip skin. Honestly, you're probably thinking, oh, how does that happen? What I mean by is it, it can leave these particles on your lips. Those particles, it can feel really weird on your lips. It can actually be noticeable. It happened to me once. And after you're done putting it on the outside of your lips, you just do what you normally do the other ones. Okay, from there, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to... After you're done doing that, you take whatever's on the ends and you take whatever's on the top out. Um, I usually put it on the outside because not only it can like leave, it can make your lips very, very dry. I hate having dry lips, literally. Okay, so next is the mascara. I'm not going to put any on. I already have some on. Sorry. Um, but I do have, I did have moisturizer on before I did this. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight mascaras. And here they all are. Okay. The first one I'm going to be talking to you guys about is called Bombshell. And it's from CoverGirl. This is my favorite one. It's double sided. Um, next one I'm going to be talking about is Voluminous. This does not say where it's from. I think I got it for Christmas one night. It's Flash Fiber Eyebrows. It actually works really good, but it leaves like chunks on your eyebrows that you have to, on your eyelashes that you have to like clean out. Um, this one right here, I love it the most. It's from Maybelline. Actually, no, I lied. I don't like this one the most, but it's like my second favorite. Um, it's from Maybelline, New York. Um, honestly, it works good. I'll show you what it looks like. It says pumped up. Colossal Volume Express. Um, it works really good for when you want your eyebrows to look really thick. But that's how thick it is. And it smells weird. I don't know why. When I first bought it and I first opened it, I thought it smelled weird. I thought it was old, but it's this doesn't get old. Um, this one's also from Maybelline. Um, it's called Illegal Length. It's fiber extensions and extensions... Um, like extensions to the point where it extends your eyebrows and if you blink backwards like this or you like you look up you that can your eyelashes can touch your eyebrows it depends but this is what it looks like honestly i don't think it works well so <laughs> that's probably why i don't use it okay this is the f uh fifth one that i'm going to show you it's called lash blast lash blast fusion it is from CoverGirl, and it works very well. 
Um, it's different kind of shaped at the end. That's only because it doesn't get mascara at all. It does not get mascara anywhere on your face. And um, it only gets mascara. Usually it gets mascara like if you poke your eye, mostly when you're doing it. Um, then I have two of the same ones. They're both called Great Lash. They're from Maybelline, New York. Um, now these, they're... Um, yeah, they can, they can honestly, they can mess up your, let's say if you cry, it will tear up all over. So here's what it looks like. They, this is what they look like. Um, they work, they do work well if you're going swimming and once you get into the pool, it's going to come off. Um, here's another one from Cover, Cover Girl. It's called Flamed Out. It actually, this is actually my favorite one because it's different shape at the end. It's different shape. You see how it goes way in. But this is brown. Now, the reason why I like this one is because it actually works very well, especially when you, if you're going to a party and you want your eyes to pop out, this actually doesn't make your eyelashes go up. It makes them pop out more to show who you really are. Um, that's why I like it the most. And then to add on to your jewelry, what you do next is you look for um, something to do to either your hair or something. Now, in here, I have different kind of in here, I have different kind of jewelry. Now, the reason why is because usually, if you, I usually put three coats of lips, lipstick on. You guys probably just put two or three. Now, the reason why I'm saying that is because you're not supposed to really put a lot of makeup on. It can mess your skin up. So, what I usually do is I use this purple outline. This works. The this is actually the best ever. So you, if you, you can use it for this too. You just take it and you put it along, and you mix it in. Then you do the top. There you go. Um, what you do after that is you mix it all together. It still comes to look out the same, but it shapes your lips out. And let me tell you, it works very well. Um, going along with that is, um, eyeshadow. I'm going to put some eyeshadow on for you. This is just going to be light eyeshadow, so don't feel bad if you don't have it. I'm sorry. Now, if you're struggling with acne, I usually have the I what I use for my face to cover acne. You see, this is my this is the end of my makeup tutorial. If you have an acne problem and you're having trouble with your acne. All you gotta do is just comment on this video and subscribe to me and I will follow you guys back and I will look up um I will look up different kinds of ways to help other people because I had a really bad acne problem. I used proactive. Proactive didn't work for me. I used Devon by Demi. It worked for me, but after I ran out I wanted more and I couldn't afford it. So after that what I did was I got baby soap. Now no, I'm not talking like the the orange bottle or the yellow bottle baby soap. I'm talking about the purple bottle baby soap. And I usually wash my face with that every day and every night. I leave it on there for 20 seconds. And then after I'm done leaving it on there for 20 seconds, I take it off and I put lotion on my face to sleep in and to wear under my makeup. It works very well. As you can see, I don't have any pimples anymore. Um, I would show you a picture, but I kind of feel embarrassed showing people pictures of me. So you can see me right now. Um, you can subscribe and comment on these videos on what you guys would like me to do next. I'm going to be posting a 7 second challenge after this that I have done. Um, it's going to be my last week video I did, that I was supposed to post last week, but unfortunately I had a current event come up. So I will be posting videos every Tuesday and every Friday. And I hope you guys like them. So this is the end of my tutorial. Don't forget to always wear jewelry. It works. It comes in handy. Um, so talk, see you guys next week on Tuesday. Actually, I'm going to be seeing you guys on Friday also. So, 
um, like and subscribe and comment. Thank you.